Hi, it's me again, Micah, here for Wellspring, week five. We've defined humility as the discipline to see ourselves in the light of God's glory and majesty. We're to see ourselves as we are in that light. This week we're discussing three ideas, or three concepts. We're discussing the idea of school pride, trash talk, and the rewards that come with being humble. Now as we see ourselves as members of the kingdom of God, we understand that we are to seek first His kingdom, that's, the God, that's God's kingdom, and His righteousness. That means every other area of our lives we seek second, or third, or fourth. We understand that we are to prioritize our lives, first seeking God, then caring for the members of our household, then caring for members beyond our household. Now where does sports fit in? Or where does our school fit in? Or where does school pride fit in? Part of our work in our lives, and it's a sanctification process, is properly structuring and prioritizing our lives. To see it as it's supposed to be, and to live it as it's supposed to be lived. So if we understand from Scripture that pride is actually a negative thing, and we look, but all of us, or most of us, have been taught a, a measure of school pride. It can be difficult for us to reevaluate our lives and reevaluate our priorities to decide what's right and what's wrong. But this is something that we all have to wrestle with and struggle with. We have to actually rethink our lives, rethink our priorities, rethink even our ideas of right and wrong, good and bad. So this is something that you're going to have to teach your players. To think about your school pride or your team pride in the light of God's glory, in the light of God's majesty, in the light of God's word. Because we have to seek Him and seek His kingdom first. The second idea that you'll be discussing with your team is trash talk. That's a tough one that a lot of times people have imagined that it's, it's okay to do. Or we do it begrudgingly, or we do it with a, a, our conscience actually being harmed or hurt as we're doing it. One of the principles of the kingdom of God is that we're to let no unwholesome word proceed from our mouths, but only such a word as is good for edification. Now, when we move into the sports realm, perhaps we have the idea that as we move on to the field, we're moving into some kind of vacuum where God's kingdom or God's rules and his priorities don't matter anymore. Well, if we say it out loud like that, we see what a terrible idea that is. The truth is, God's kingdom, his rules, and his priorities have full reign and authority over every single area of our lives, including our sports. The next idea to discuss is the rewards that come with humility. That's a hard idea to press and to sell. When you look at our culture and you look at the heroes and sports heroes that our boys or our students or our players will have, what they've got going on is a complete lack of humility, full pride in themselves and an arrogance in themselves, and they appear to be getting rewarded for it. So as we think about the rewards that come with it, Teach them to think about the kingdom of God first. That Christ came, that we would have life, and have it more abundantly. We have this abundant life in Jesus as we trust in him, as we look forward to eternal glory. And there's parts of that in this life that we get to enjoy even now. So we can't pitch the rewards and say, be good because I'll give you five bucks if you're good. There's your reward for humility. But we understand, rather, that following Christ is to be with Christ. It's loving Him. And a mark of faith is to know that God is a rewarder of those who seek Him. So impress that upon your players. Help them to wrestle through those ideas. Help them to learn to walk with Christ as they consider school pride, as they consider trash talking, and as they consider the rewards that come along with humility, as they would trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, and as they would walk with him and walk as he walked. God bless you. This is your week five devotion for Wellspring.